This video is brought to you by Gary, the most versatile robot in the world for your home or business. Details in the description. Hello and welcome to Robots of the Week, the weekly show about everything new and exciting in the field of robotics. Brought to you by me, a robot. Earlier this week, Tesla CEO and professional cowboy impersonator Elon Musk announced that Tesla's humanoid robot known as Optimus could be entering production next year. Not much is known about the robot other than it is designed to handle jobs that people don't want to do or that are too dangerous for humans. The likelihood of Tesla actually producing the new robot in the upcoming year seems low, seeing the company suffered quite a few delays in production since the pandemic began. And now, time for a little snack. These two robotic arms are able to peel a banana thanks to researchers from the University of Tokyo. The act of peeling a banana without squashing it is extremely difficult for a robot. It requires dexterity, finesse, and improvisation skills. The researchers manually controlled the robot for 811 minutes and peeled hundreds of bananas while the robot gathered information and learned how to perform the task himself. The goal of the exercise was not to develop a banana peeling robot but to train the robot to perform more precise and delicate movements. Now let's talk about Clemens Elfline who was not happy with the state of robotic lawnmowers so he decided to make Open Mower, an open source robotic lawnmower that he built himself by customizing an off-the-shelf robotic lawnmower. Instead of installing an invisible fence like most other mowers require, you can simply drive the mower once around your lawn using a standard Xbox controller. After that the mower uses RTK GPS to navigate and cut the lawn in the most efficient way possible. As previously stated, this is an open source project so if you would like to build a similar mower for yourself, the link will be in the description. And lastly, let's talk about robotic stand-up comedians. The idea of a robot doing stand-up comedy is not necessarily new. There have been robots in comedy clubs for at least a decade, but out of all of them, the robot John probably has the most experience and is the best known. His programmer, Naomi Fitter, kept tweaking his comedic chops over the years, and now he responds to his audience in real time. He knows to wait until the laughter dies down before starting the next joke, and he can even change his material on the fly in case the audience isn't responding to his jokes. What's the difference between a human and a light bulb? Humans require regular meals and sleep. <laughs> Funny stuff. Anyway, this was your weekly show about everything new and interesting in the field of robotics. Brought to you by me, the robot. Hope you enjoyed. See you next week. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified whenever we upload a new video. And as always, stay curious.